update and this morning we're featuring a North Georgia staple. Ashley is joined with Marvin from Kirahi Vineyards to show off their grape selection. That's sure to blow your cork off. You know what? Uh, they Marvin, might have already had some wine back That's what I was just about to say. Y'all acting a little tipsy-turvy. It may not be 5 o'clock, but I'm always down to celebrate a good old pour, right? Are you too, Marvin? Yes, ma'am. It's Ashley. <laughs> well, happy Thursday to you, and thank you so much for joining us here thank on you, the Morning News in Fox Carolina. So let's dig right into it. How did Kirahi Vineyards <clears> to start? We live at the bottom of Kirahi Mountain. Uh, a lot of people associate that with a band of brothers, mm -hmm. and because um, that's where they did train in the 40s. But um, it was going to be a sort of retirement thing. Yeah. And um, my wife passed away in 2009, and I've got three adult children, and we decided to set it out and do something as a family. Beautiful. And it, it really did help us a lot to get over my wife. Um, we came out with four wines, and that was in 2012 we started selling wine. Mm -hmm. And now we produce some 17, 18 wines. Proud of y'all. Started from four, 17, 18 is where we're at now. Yes, ma'am. Gotcha. Um, we also have a winery in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee now. Oh, y'all been busy? Yes, ma'am, we've been busy. And speaking of being busy, one of the things that y'all do is honor the military. How so do y'all do that? that that's. You know, um, that's really a big part of Kirhee. Mm -hmm. There's a couple of things. Here. Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. There's a couple of things that Kirhee really does do. Now, this is called a plank, and this right here, yep. I, I don't know if you can see it, but we're one of the only wineries that's ever been given permission to put a Medal of Honor on a label. Oh, beautiful! This gentleman's name's Michael Monsour, and he put his body on a live grenade. Wow. So they named his ship after him. And like I said, we're associated with um, a 506. Uh, they they were, who trained on the mountain there at the vineyard during World War II. Mm -hmm. So anyway, they contacted us. We made a sparkling wine and a com to commission that ship. We took 88 cases to uh, San Diego. And it took approximately 18 cases just to pour the toast at night. Oh, wow. There was a, roughly a 1,000 people at that. And they call it Bring It to Life. They used our wine to bring it to life. And this is, a, this is the wine that they used. That's a muscadine, right? Yes, yes ma'am. And it's a semi-sweet muscadine. But we took it to New York and bottled it. And it was in like a champagne bottle. Okay. And um, it, it's... Between the good Lord hmm. and everything else, it, it's been an honor to be able to do things like this because of a winery. The 88 cases, 90% of it was sold that night. All the money proceeds went to um, Michael Monsour Foundation and the Gold Star families. Yes, sir. So let's talk a little bit more about the wines. Your best seller is the one with the blue top here, right? That, that is right. Is that yes, good old blue? That's old blue. What makes good old blue unique? Really, it's weird because there's not a whole lot to it. It's muscadine and blueberry. Mm -hmm. And we were at the situation we, we had to decide, are we going to push on and try something else or are we just going to go back? I did road construction 40 years. Yes, sir. And um, so we came out with this one. And we made like 80 cases. You know, we were... Do you mind if I get me a glass? I would love for you to get I a glass. I want to try that. And while I try that, can you explain to the folks at home what exactly is a muscadine wine? Muscadine is a native uh, That's grape. That's because you know I'm on the clock. Mm -hmm. <laughs> native. <laughs> <laughs> to be clear. Uh -huh. Native um, grape that grows in the northeast, southeast, I'm sorry, part oh of the goodness. United States. Mm -hmm. okay. So it's we, very sweet. Muscadines are usually very sweet. Yes, ma'am. But um, I could still taste the very richness of wine flavor in it, too. Right. Now, if folks want to find you all, how can they go about doing so? Are y'all on social media they can well, find you? Um, Facebook. Yes, sir. Twitter. Um, they don't ask me to do any of that. They don't? Uh, no. <laughs> you got people for that? Yes, ma'am, because <laughs> they never would find me mm -hmm. if she was that. <laughs> but um, we do have people that help promote the winery. Gotcha. And like I said, um, the community we grew up in, it helps the community because it brings 100 to 200 people to 
our community about every week. Yes, sir. We're open um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Every Saturday and Sunday from 2 to 5, we have live music. Uh, we take our music serious because our customers drive. We have a lot of customers in Greenville that oh, comes yeah. over. Um, but they drive several hours to get there. And we tell people they can bring their own picnic. Very nice. Well, y'all got a lot of fun stuff in store, and we're so proud of all your success. So let's cheers to that. Come on. What, you going to pour you a little glass, too? Yes, ma'am. Okay. And, um, and I'm going to go back to my old three mile. Three mile. That's yeah. another muscadine. That is correct, ma'am. And you better stir it up, sir. Let cheers me. to you. Cheers to you. And we're so proud of you. We're going to send things back to Matt. God bless you. Thank, Thank you, ma'am. Same to you. <laughs>